is about how the body's beautiful despite pain, death, and all the broken stuff, and you know, there's still life, and I thought you'd, I don't know, appreciate that. Yeah, you obviously don't know. You thought I'd have some wisdom on your tragic fairy of hope? Screw you! I just thought you'd understand what the guy means when he says, your very flesh shall be a I don't want to talk about flesh or bodies or any of it, okay? Why the hell would I, of all people, want to talk about that? I don't, and I'm not your sick kid poster child, and Walt Whitman can bite me. <laughs> and yes, I do realize I am literally your poster child. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way, it's just... Okay, what if I told you that it's not like a nice poem? If you read it, you'd see that it's really wild and weird and truly not nice, which I'm kind of starting to get is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> just let me read this one thing. No. One thing. No, this is stupid. Really don't. The spotted hawk swoops by <laughs> and accuses me. He complains of my gab and my loitering. I, too, am not a bit tamed. I, too, am untranslatable. I sound my barbaric yacht over the roofs of the world. <sighs> well, what's a barbaric yacht? Well, it's like your biggest, loudest, I don't know, yacht, but it's apparently on the roof. Crazy, right? Let me see that. <laughs> Okay, I'm not saying I'm doing the project, but if I was, what do I Google? Or maybe, you know, read? Ugh. Just glance at it, just skim. Do you want a Coke or something while I read? Um, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Cool, I'll just text my mom. I can just go get it. No, it's like a drive through Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's an efficient system. Plus, my mom says, God hates shouting. Oh, P.S. Don't touch my turtle. He's easily startled. You are the strangest person in the world. <laughs> Certainly North America. Yeah, so the project, which I know you're not doing, but something I thought that you might, might want to consider as you read is about pronouns. Uh, yeah, they, um... <clears throat> A critical analysis of Walt Whitman's use of the pronouns I and you in Song of Myself. Pronouns. He's very big on pronouns. How can you be big on pronouns? They're pronouns. Well... Is there some big confusion on what these things accomplish? Well, no, at least... At least this is what it's about. Like, it's about what he means when he writes I or you or we. Like, the meanings shift during the poem, and I think we're supposed to, like, track it. Track it? Yeah. See, I hate poetry. No, 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 wait. no one else gets to change grammar. Wait. A lot. Okay, yes, it's kind of crazy, but don't focus on the grammar. Just, just focus on the point of the poem. Like the point is unity and beauty. Okay, and... hey, hey, best poem in the world. Just give me a week and I'll read it. Okay, so yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't give you a week. I bet if you try really hard, you can. No, because, I mean, it's due tomorrow. <laughs> it's due tomorrow? I'm sorry. Are you insane? I'm sorry. I what don't know. What the hell? I'm sorry. I was busy and then it was due. Oh, then you can do it by your damn self. I am not. No, okay? Just leave. Oh, my God. What is happening? I'm sorry. I just kept on waiting and then it was due and it was weird to barge it's in. It's weird I know. <laughs> I'm not doing this for you. Of course not. And I guess I've done most of it by myself if you just want to use mine and... You don't have to worry. Seriously, all seriously, just take the blame. Yeah, you will. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Told Miss B I was gonna keep up, so I'm gonna keep up. So why don't you take your damn smelly food to the corner and do tomorrow? Come on! I am sorry. Yes, I will try very hard not to use that against you later. 
And um, don't pity me, is what I'm asking. Well, I mean, I can't really pity you. I don't even really know you, so. So, this is my room. This is my phone. I've been sick pretty much ever since I was born. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they tried a ton of stuff, and now we're at the point where I just need a new thing. So I wait. But I'm a pretty good candidate because I came by this crap, honestly. It's genetic. Yay! Anyway, livers are a robust organ, so it's not as sketchy as it can be, but the whole process is still kind of crazy. So my life's kind of crazy. So I'm kind of crazy. Like, I've always been sick, but not you can't go to school sick, which sucks, like, so much. I mean, I'm a senior, I have crucial things to do, and then suddenly, out of the blue, my house is like some crappy clinic, and my mom is on constant red alert, and everything's just so weird now. Like, even the crap people post on my Facebook is weird. Like, it's suddenly full of kittens and smiley faces and we miss you, girl, and that is so not my style. So. So? I wanted to know. Well, I did, but... Now you know. Yeah, I still don't really know anything about you. <laughs> um... I'm a Virgo. Taurus. Well, actually, I'm on the cusp, so I tend to go with the better horoscope. What else? I, um, I speak a little Spanish. Excellent. Well, my dad made me take Latin. <laughs> Keep going. I'm kind of really into old Elvis movies. Are you, like, 80? Shut <laughs> up, it's vintage. Have you seen that man in uniform? Total winner. He died on a toilet. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I used to swim, and one time I dyed my hair purple, and I was into American Girl Dolls for all of no minutes. <laughs> Penguins are the best animal, and there is no ice cream better than Chunky Monkey. None. Period. Do not cross me on this. And you have or stalk a stripy cat who wears lots of hats. She <laughs> likes to accessorize. What's her name? Bitter. Is your cat's name? <laughs> Does she look amused? You are so strange and... And then you're like Elvis. Oh, come on. He's still the king. Jailhouse Rock? Come on. No, no, all this makes you very special. All right, secret grand. All right, cat lady. <laughs> Junior, cat lady, okay? There's a hierarchy. Okay, yeah, but well, I'm just saying you're not, you're not only your, like, thing. My what? Well, I don't know what you call it, like, your thing thing, like, I don't know, like, your... My... Terrible dance. No, no, you're so <laughs> You knew what I was saying. Yes, I did. You should learn some anatomy. It's higher. Okay, so my dad and I were watching the Discovery Channel last night, and they said that, like, before they take a kidney and put it into somebody, they ice it first, right? Then when they're ready, they slap it. Um, yeah, they like slap the kidney so that it wakes up before they put it into you, which sounds completely insane to me. Slap it. Yeah, like, boom! <laughs> what, you crazy? You do realize that kidneys and livers are different things. Well, yeah, but, okay, do they slap everything? <laughs> you don't transplant brains. <laughs> Hearts are your thing. I really try not to think about it too much because I kind of think about it all the time and it still wears me out, so. But it's cool that they can even do that. Like, it's a body part, like, it's a Lego. Awesome. <laughs> and, and it's so crazy that it's so normal and the stuff is bionic. Thanks so much! Where is that coat? We ordered it like a month ago. Well, I can just go get it. No, it's fine. I, uh, I like your room. <laughs> Thanks. It's not as girly as some girls. <laughs> and if I needed a slogan, that'd be it. Well, no, 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 like, like, like with the, uh, the, the pictures and stuff, you know, it's lively. Yeah, I got it. Then it's expressionist. I live in one big weird collage. No, no, it looks great. My room looked like a ten-year-old left and never came back for his stuff. I'm talking fire truck wallpaper. 
<laughs> I mean, if you wait long enough, it'll be ironic. Look at one place, search another. I stopped somewhere waiting for you. That's the end? It's great, isn't it great? You liked it, didn't you like no, it? Oh, please! <laughs> Give me a minute. Um... Okay. This is gonna sound really dumb, but it feels like... I mean, like, at least in the ending, like... Like he's talking to me. It's not dumb, I thought the same thing. Okay, really? Because that was getting spooky for us. That's just how good it is. Or how creepy. Well, no, at least at least this is what like the feeling is for me. It's like it's like he's here. Like he's here with us because we're reading it and he's like reborn in us. Which is creepy. Okay, yeah, but like with the music of the words, it's epic, right? It churns. Churns? No, I think it's more I don't know. Happy. Like He's singing and yapping, and I'm pretty sure I sense a frolic in this thing. I don't think Walt Whitman. <laughs> oh, he's way into frolicking. This was written in the Civil War. It's not cute. It's defiant. <laughs> you can defiantly frolic. This was written in the war hospital. He was with the dead, the dying. He held their hands, and yet he still writes about beauty in America and in nature. And I just think that's it's fearless. Yeah, fearless. I like that. Okay. Just happened. I kind of like this guy, and we are going to win this project. <laughs> but we are, are we? Oh my god, yes, you're right, no bloating. I'm not bloating, I'm just <laughs> glad we agree he's a badass. He is a badass. <laughs> Walter Whitman, national badass. That oh, could be our title! That could be our title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying he was for, like, 18-something? 1860s. I'm basically asking if ladies were still in corsets. Oh, they totally were. Okay, so, here's this time where the country is divided into, like, two, right? And ladies are locked into their clothes, and it doesn't sound like anybody's having any fun. And then there's this guy who's, like, yapping from the roof about oneness, and we're all in this together kind of stuff, which must have sounded insane to them. Like, it sounds insane now, like, the actual sound of it. Right, I told you. Okay, like, I'm kind of really into this. Like, I need Whitman t-shirts and a phone cover, and I am totally changing my Twitter background. Please don't tweet Walt Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> His genius must be shared. Widely. Okay, okay, but before you broadcast this, you do get that the poem is kind of racy. <laughs> what? The dude's having a lot of sex in this. Nuh-uh! Well, he totally isn't. I don't know, but he sounds a little gay. What? <laughs> Shut up! Are you listening at all? Come on. He's not gay. He's classic. Do you know how many classic dudes were gay? Like, all of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that he's gay. I care that he's having sex all over my brand new poem. <laughs> no, <sir>. no. <laughs> well, people had sex back then. <laughs> but not like, sexy sex. They invented sexy sex. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. <laughs> I can do a quick Google check. Do not search all three of sexy sex on my computer. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying that it's like a free love kind of poem. No, heard. It's sweet. It's about families and America. Well, yeah, but it's like throbbing. Ah, uh, don't say throbbing. Ew. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, he's a passionate guy, sometimes about America and sometimes dudes. No, no, he only lusts for America. It's totally there, it's right there on the page, in the small stuff, look. This is the press of my bashful hand. This is the flow into the odor of hair. This is the touch of my lips to yours, this murmur of yearning. The small stuff. Mm -hmm. You see the way he... Got it. Have you, um, ever seen that website, Stuff White People Like? <laughs> it's funny. What? They have, like, this massive list with stuff like NPR and Sea Salt. That's great. Which is so true. Sea Salt is shaped like the rest of us. Well, why can't you just be super boring and totally normal like everybody else? Stop. And you're honest about yourself, which I'm not always. Yeah, right. You're, like, the most genuine guy ever. Yeah, but one big lie is a lot easier to keep than a bunch of small ones. But like, you, you're completely yourself. You, you take these pictures and you're not afraid of yourself. Like, you're way more real than I am. And like, 
You should have your own TV show. I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd probably be on PBS at like 3 a.m., so. Do you like pictures? I do. I like the close-ups. The textures, like the light and stuff. Well, they're really good. It's like there's this beauty that most of us miss, because you can only see it in, like, miniature. The small stuff. At least I can't ruin the small stuff. Listen, I know it sucks for you to, like, be in here all the time. I mean, I don't know, but, you know, yeah. it's like... Thanks. It's just, like, I can't even have fun, you know? Like, fun is hard. What's the point? What's the point of what? Anything. All the doctors and hospitals and stuff. Everybody's trying to make it all upbeat and positive, and it's like, I'm not an idiot. I get what you're doing, and it's just making it worse. And um, my mom, she worries. Well, her support group worries. <laughs> and boy, does she support that group. Anyway, she worries I'm not being a normal teenager and that's gonna mess me up. And I'm like, Mom, I'm already messed up. And then she says I'm being dark and I'm like, Mom, I'm naturally dark. And she says she hates that and I'm like, well, you're not the one who's gonna die first. Um, that kind of stops the interactions. You're not gonna die. Am I? No, don't say that you're not. Things don't work themselves out in a hurry. Don't talk like that, I'm serious. I'm just saying, it's going to happen, it should just happen. Like, fix me or kill me already. Jeez, Caroline, what the hell? What? You don't mean that. That's not what you mean. Please don't tell me what I mean. You can't talk about, like, going to New York and traveling the world and say that to me. Okay, that is not fiction. This is your life. It's really not. But it could be. But it probably won't. And nothing pisses me off more than people trying to make this all sweetness and hope when my life is mostly shit. What am I supposed to say to that? Who cares what you say? It's not about you. Of course it's not. So just don't say stuff like that. Being honest. Calling it out. Don't want it to be so unspeakable. Well then don't joke about it. It's not a joke. I know it's not. You don't want to die. You don't want that. That's not an option. Why are you yelling at me? Because I'm invested now. This is just an English project. <laughs> You can't keep playing off crap and act like you don't care when I know you do. You care about your art and the cat and a ton of crap. So why do you push people around and piss people off when I know you don't want to die? You don't want that. Of course I don't, but it's a full-time job to be scared of it, so I'm not. Why not? What? Why aren't you scared? Because. Because why? Because I've lived with that son of a bitch all my life and it doesn't win until I let it. Exactly. You stare that crap down and you don't give up. You don't. Yes, it does, but I won't bail if you won't. I don't want to be on Team Caroline anymore. Well, well, tag me and I'll be on Team Caroline. You can be, you can be Team Wetman, Team Yacht. <laughs> team Yacht. Team Yacht for the win. Uh, team Yacht has a project due in like 10 hours and we're not even close to done. Yeah, we are. I messed up your homework. Are you kidding? We're so good. The poster's gonna look great. <laughs> I have my speech <laughs> ready to go and we can take you right now, so no worries. You can't take me right now, it's like a balloon. You look great. Do not, but thank you for not. Uh, yeah, no, 